Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, to Berlin Office, and hello again to another video series around One Identity Manager. And hey, hey, this time we are talking about version 8.1. When I was just getting aware of 8.1, my first idea was, oh, let's just add some videos to the good old 8.0 upgrade series, and I'm fine. Unfortunately, after that, I started to talk with my program management and the program management just deployed a couple of small slides to me. They are around about 107 pages or slides just with new stuff in 8.1. And a oh wonder, a oh wonder, because of that, 8.1 gets its own video series. To make this video series not super thick and heavy, the idea was just to start to put all the parts of information in pieces. And that means I divided something from the 8.1 upgrade series. One of these pieces is the One Identity Manager 8.1 Privileged Account Governance Module. And this is what you can find on YouTube just here in this channel as Privileged Account Governance Video Series. Another one will be the API designer, not produced yet. This is something we will produce directly after we get online with this video series. All other features about the identity manager, it's something you will then see here in this video series and as an overview. That means this series is not meant to build up the ground knowledge of the identity manager. This means people, if you are interested to learn how identity manager works, this is the wrong series for you, therefore please look into other videos. Here we are talking about differences between the 8.0 and the 8.1 product and this is for experts, especially because I don't explain everything. To get a little bit more structure into the whole thing, the idea is that we just put that all into pieces. We will start with some prerequisites and I will outline again what it's divided. We will as well talk about password management in a second step, many improvements there. We will then talking about connected system modules. You know, these nice things you can connect to the identity manager, followed by the synchronization framework changes. A lot of things are waiting there for us as well. And then we will talk about the new web portal and together with that about the new operations web and the API server just in a roughly overview, especially because, as I mentioned, the API designer gets its own series. Last but not least, we talk about base engine upgrades and after the base engine upgrades, if there is time, we talk about some minor updates. With this list of things we just are interested in and will talk about, I think we have now time for the next couple of hours just to explore the Identity Manager 8.1 and I really hope you do that like me in pieces and not watch the complete video series in one big block. That's too hard for every brain as well and especially for my brain. And with that, now follow me to the screen and we will just start to work. Let's talk about some prerequisites first. The main important prerequisite is SQL Server 2016 or 2017. And as it is, we need a specific level at the end of database level 130. And that means 2016 SQL Server should be a service pack two and security update package four. And 2017 should have the security update package 12. Both are the minimum requirements. That means everything above it's okay, but everything below should not be used. If you use SQL Server 2017, then the good message is you can use the Linux version or the Windows version. I'm nearly sure we have no huge customer who tried it to use it under Linux, but nevertheless, for medium and small customers, it's a cool idea to test that if there is time for, for example, in a test environment, but at the end, it should work. Gone, and this is the bad message, is the Oracle support for Identity Manager 8.1. As you know, in 8.0, we had last time Oracle support implemented. In 8.1, it does not exist anymore. This means the Identity Manager can now not just installed on an Oracle server, 
Please remember the generic One Identity Manager database connector is already able just to connect to Oracle databases, but, and this is the message here, the Identity Manager cannot longer be installed on an Oracle server. From a .NET Framework perspective, it is now 4.7.2, which is the .NET Framework version to support. This means automatically that Server 2008 will not bring that with it. That means you cannot use 2008 naked just to install the Identity Manager in the same way than Windows 8. All the other machines, that means 2008 SR2 and the same like Windows 8.1 are supporting this .NET Framework version and because of that they can be used.